One day after declaring victory, Oakland's mayor-elect says she is ready to get to work on the issues that many residents want addressed. KTVU's Amber Lee sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Sheng Tao, and Amber joins us now with more on the plan to bring hope, services, and change to Oakland. Amber. Julie, Mayor-elect Sheng Tao invited us into her home. She tells me she's excited and optimistic about moving the city forward. She plans to meet with all of the city's department heads and hold town hall meetings with Oaklanders. We were really struggling. We struggled for many, many years. And Oakland's mayor-elect Sheng Tao tells me her struggles as a homeless single mom of a young son 15 years ago prepare her in a unique way to lead a city that is grappling with homelessness and crime. What about Sheng Tao can get this accomplished when so others before you couldn't? I am very pragmatic. I, you know, I'm very honest and straightforward, and I work with everyone. The unique skill set that I have is that I bring people together. Tao says she wants to use an old army base owned by the city to put up temporary housing in a centralized location to shelter and provide services to the homeless. With uh, the pallet shelters that have electricity and what have you, having safe RV sites, so that our unhoused community is actually not a just haphazardly all around the whole city. The 37-year-old says she will go on what she describes as a hiring blitz to fill empty city positions, fund the police department to hire more officers without relying on overtime. She says funds should also go to crime prevention. A lot of hope has been lost here in the city of Oakland, so investing directly into community organizations, and not just that, but being intentional about creating community spaces. Livening spaces such as Frank Ogawa Plaza with activities and events to bring people together. The drive front, right field. I feel that it's very important that we keep the A's in Oakland. But Tao says she does not want Oaklanders to be responsible for any debt the A's may incur in building a new stadium at Howard Terminal. There is a you know a pathway forward to a fair and uh, negotiated uh, terms and proposal. Uh, and I'm optimistic about keeping the A's here. Tao tells me she never imagined that life's challenges would lead her to become mayor of a major city. She is one of ten children born to refugee parents. She says escaping from domestic violence while pregnant and coping with homelessness are struggles that she has turned into strengths. What I bring to this is my grit and my determination to make sure that Oaklanders, that all Oaklanders, especially those families that are on the margins, that they are seen and that they are heard. Shang Tao's inauguration will be January 9th. She will be the first Hmong American woman to become mayor of Oakland. Julie, Mike. And as she gets started on her duties as mayor in January, does she carry a lot of the support of fellow council members? You would think so, because running for mayor, she had a lot of support from her city council members. So hopefully that will bode well in getting things done. All right, That's Amber, right. thank you. A new chapter ahead. Amber, thank you.